Alright, my name is Michael Epinet. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Conroe, Texas. I love concept design, creatures, monsters, the works, and I draw what's in my head, put it down on paper. I've really been drawing ever since I could hold a pencil. Just, uh, I really got serious about it though, probably around seventh grade. That's when I really stopped just drawing something and actually taking the time to design it. First I would, I would, it would start with thumbnails, small drawings, kind of sketch a bit. Then once I know what I'm looking at, I'd go to a real drawing and actually lay it out. Granted on eight and a half by 11 copy paper. Just what looks good really, what looks natural, using lots of reference instead of just straight from your head. Because really, the, the best reference is photos. And out in the world there, you can really see the forms. And as I started to get an idea of these three-dimensional forms, the concept started maturing. Once I knew what a jaw muscle is and how it anchors to the back of the head and how, how they work and the more creatures I saw in movies and the more inspiration I drew from real life, the more mature the designs got. This is, this is something I made when I was around 13 years old. This is a Tortugaron. Now, this is uh, something I created when I was 10 years old. This is the Five-Eyed Bear Dog. And this is a commission I got my junior year of high school. And he said, make a Viking. And then I drew this cool Viking. He was like, wait a second. This could use a giant serpent monster. And I really wanted to mess with some texture qualities and wrinkles, and I, I love the white pencil technique of some of the concept artists I like. So, I don't know, I drew this thing. I guess it's kind of chupacabra-y. This guy is a concept for a short film idea I had my junior year of high school. He's um, the alien astronaut, a goblinoid. I was on an orc kick, kind of Lord of the Rings type stuff. This, this guy's got a bit of a story. I'm taking a vacation to Chicago, and I only brought one sketchbook with me. And I realized that I only had one clean sheet of paper left. <laughs> so I spent the vacation just really working on the one drawing. So this guy is just a big wrinkly demon. This is one of my concepts when I was on a Greek mythology phase. And that was one of the dark characters that I had come up with in this film I want to make called Orpheus. This is Jaga. This is the kaiju that I made for the Stan Winston School kaiju design contest. This is one of my biggest design efforts I've had. And there was a really long design process, just trying to get it right, because I knew this was going to be based on likes. So I wanted to incorporate the old classic kaiju features, because I knew people would be kind of looking for that, you know? At the same time, I wanted to incorporate some of those cool new Pacific Rim aesthetics into it. I really like the idea of hell and sulfur and brimstone. So I, I wanted to communicate that with the bright yellow. The idea was that he came with these sulfur miners working in their nasty, stinking mines. All of a sudden, the earth starts rumbling, and the yellow, dusty earth cracks and bleeds since melted brimstone looks like blood. And from a boiling red and orange pit comes this disgusting, stinking, massive beast dripping from every one of his mouths, this putrid slime ready to de devastate everyone. I spent about a month just working on it, trying to get the right shapes. Some gorilla reference, scorpion reference, alien reference. I mean, come on now, the xenomorph miles there. Human reference, definitely. I love human elements in design just because they make it that much more relatable almost, you know? It was a crazed effort to get that thing to the top because it was based on likes and a couple of the artists have like pages or followers, you know. And here I am, 17 year old Conroe kid. <laughs> my parents jumped on sharing the picture, sharing the link and oh my goodness, it was crazy because I was actually driving to Chicago at the time. So we were in the car, everyone like sharing, keeping track. Oh, he's 10 ahead. Oh, I'm 10 ahead. Oh, he's 50 ahead. Oh no, we're going to get that lead back. So, yeah. The first time I saw the big Kaiju Jaga printed out on the floor, huge, I was like, whoa, this is happening. That was the first concrete moment. And it, it was live and oh my goodness. And every moment of it, it was getting more real and more real. And then I see Ian Hunter, 
sign up for the 10 day web course, how to build a major city. And I thought to myself, they're having an entire other class for the monsters to battle in? Granted, like that's an amazing skill to put that city together, you know? And at the same time, I'm thinking, this is, this is a big effort. I'm part of a big effort. This is crazy. So that was, that was another defining moment where he just got that much more real. Oh my goodness. Walking up there is like walking into my own brain, where I imagine this creature chopping cities off, it, like the buildings even come crashing apart. This is a way bigger effort than I ever imagined it would be. My biggest dream is I want to be a movie director. These creature designs, I do my best to draw them, but these these ideas I have in my head, they're moving. They're alive. They're they take shape and form and behaviors that is fun to express in drawings and I really hope to develop that skill but at the same time in a cinematic form these things will come to life I just my brain is boiling with things I want to put on the big screen just idea after idea after idea and they're all alive and there and moving it, it hadn't sunk in yet now it's starting to sink in that this is happening this is a reality that my career could happen. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Passion. Passion leads to practice. Practice leads to skill. So if you have the passion, you're doing it every day, you're developing it, you are maturing your skill, you are making something from nothing, that's when it all comes together.